Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today we are taking a look at the crew setup for every tank class in World of Tanks in the new crew 2.0 system so that you know what to do in order to set up your crew and to get started. If you're interested in more reviews and gameplay, go to YouTube and search for World of Tanks with Bruce to get all of my videos or click on the subscribe button and now let's go. Okay, so we are here on the Sandbox test server, so everything is still subject to change. However, I think that most of the skills are set in stone. So let's now take a look at how I set up my different crews. And uh, in this video, we will go over light tanks, medium tanks, and then heavy tanks. Um, and I will not focus on uh, tank destroyers. Um, or on artillery just because um, those are the tank classes that I almost never play so I just don't feel to be um, able to give you good advice on those classes. Um, the tank I have here is the Progetto 65, a tank that uh, recently got nerfed um, and um, I really do think that with the new Crew 2.0 system we um, can make use of some nice new skills. So if, if we take a look at the skill training right here, this is my setup. Um, now in general, there are a couple of things that still apply to the game. Um, and that is that it's all about view range. So um, the first skill that you might want to train is eyes open. This is uh, the skill that increases your view range and then the concealment skill. Uh, skill that is here uh, within the technical training group uh, because this increases your concealment. Now besides this, um, I really do think that um, for a medium tank um, you should think about increasing your gunnery training um, and also your driver training. Um, and uh, I heard some, um, some people complaining about um, the fact that you are starting a new or you have to start a new group with um, increasing your view range, then increasing your concealment, and then you have different groups. So this will um, give you a hard time to achieve the 30 points in order to achieve um, the or to unlock the special uh, talents on the right hand side. Now, um, first of all, if you want to know how this all works, then check out my video. I made a video on um, how to convert your uh, crew let's say 1.0 into a 2.0 crew. And then I also um, made a video about um, all the skills and how it is all working. So you might want to check those um, uh, videos out. Um, I will link those videos uh, right here. And then um, you can also go to YouTube and uh, search for World of Tanks with Bruce in order to get all of my videos. Now, um, besides um, view range and um, concealment, what I think is that well, I think that um, the major drawback after the nerf of the Progetto 65 was its gun handling. So this is why I concentrated on the gun retraining here. So um, I took 10 points here with uh, vulnerability training and then fast aiming and then snapshot. Now fast aiming is for me the most important uh, thing on this tank because it's an autoloader tank. The aiming time of a stationary vehicle is decreased by um, now as I have, uh, have it set up by 3.4%. So this means um, that once I stop, um, the aiming time is reduced. And I think this is uh, particularly important for an autoloader tank that has, um, let's say, not the best gun handling stats. Um, then I do think that snapshot is very, very important for a medium tank. Um, it reduces the dispersion on turret or gun traverse. Um, and I think that this is very, very important for a medium tank. Why so well? Because you are moving uh, quite a lot and you want to get a better um, gun handling. Um, and in order to unlock um, the talent right here, um, I then used Vulnerability Expert, which uh, just increases the chance of damaging modules. And I think that this is useful, um, especially on an autoloader, because you are... Um, shooting multiple times on your opponent, which even further increase, increases the chance of injuring uh, enemy crew members or um, uh, hurting the uh, uh, enemy vehicle modules. 
All right, so this is why I selected um, those three things. And then um, I selected rapid fire um, because it um, uh, yeah, is a talent that um, increases the damage. Um, no, actually it, um, it decreases the aim time and the dispersion uh, once I deal damage to an enemy. And um, in an autoloader, what you are you very often find yourself in a situation where you don't only uh, want to shoot once on an opponent but you s you shoot at least a second time on your opponent why so well because you you can um, um, surprise him um, and then you have the second shot basically for free before you take damage by him um, and so the gun stats for the second shot are improved and this is why I, I select uh, select a rapid fire instead of a clean shot yeah, and uh, with the um, rest of my points, um, I selected um, quick repair um, just to increase the uh, repair time. And uh, actually, I would, um, um, yeah, so select the gunnery stats and then select uh, uh, eyes open and concealment. And you might want to uh, select eyes open 10 out of 10 and then repairs only 6 out of 10 in, in this case. Um, but I think this is a good uh, crew skill setup for this tank. Okay, the next tank we are taking a look at is the AMX-30B. Um, again, a medium tank, um, but this time not with an autoloader gun, so a single shot gun. And uh, the AMX-30 is um, a tank which uh, has quite some bouncy armor, so a, a tank which you can play slightly on the aggressive side. Um, and this is the setup I use for this tank. Uh, once again, eyes open, super important for medium tank, increases your view range. Then concealment, super important, increases your concealment. Um, and then I focused on getting a talent in the tactical training group. Um, and therefore, I also increased the coherence, which uh, basically is the, um, the old um, Band of Brothers skill. Um, and then I use quick reaction. Um, in order to get the 30 points um, to unlock the talent. Um, quick reaction um, decreases your aiming time once you spot an enemy. And um, due to the high mobility and the high speed of the AMX-30, what I like to do with this tank is I like to go to important positions uh, quite aggressively and try to um, outspot the enemies that, are, that have just um, slower tanks. Um, and uh, very often I find myself in a situation where um, I spot an enemy tank uh, due to being first in a certain position and then I am able to get one shot onto the enemy. And I think this skill will uh, basically help me um, to improve the gun handling in this kind of situation. Now um, I also leveled up fast aiming because I think it's uh, super super nice for a heavy tank because with uh, sorry for a medium tank because with a medium tank uh, what you always want to do is you want to drive around on the battlefield and then drive into a bush um, spot an enemy so basically come to a, to a standstill and then uh, take a shot on your enemy and then disappear and this is exactly where this um, skill is good for um, the aim time is reduced if you are stationary so um, yeah I like to level this one and then um, the next skills I would definitely try to unlock is um, or try to level is the snapshot skill which just reduces the dispersion on turret and gun traverse and then um, also the quick repair to just get a quicker repair time um, now I also previously I used to go to the driver um, section and get smooth ride um, so this is also um, a quite handy skill um, yeah but I think this would come after snapshot and after quick repairs yeah so um, this is my setup for the AMX 30B and um, yeah uh, a setup that I would recommend for those kinds of medium tanks okay um, last but not least let's uh, take a look on the Leopard PTA um, and on this crew. Now I this crew is um, only has uh, level 49 um, and uh, here I am doing things slightly 
in a, in a slightly different way. Um, why so? Well, because the Leopard PTA has uh, a very nice gun and um, due to his lack of armor, um, I rather play this tank a little bit more defensively uh, compared to the AMX 30B. Um, and so in this case, I want to focus on the gunnery training because I want to um, make my shots and uh, increase the strength of this tank, which definitely is his gun. Um, Eyes open, super important. Concealment, once again, super important for a medium tank um, to increase the view range and the um, camo of the tank. And then um, I selected um, fast aiming, once again, and then adrenaline rush and snapshot. I um, focused on snapshot and fast aiming, and in order to get the, ten, the, sorry, the 30 points to unlock a talent, um, I took um, adrenaline rush um, and uh, yeah. Then I was, I was able to unlock the talent and here I didn't choose rapid fire because it's not an autoloader tank uh, like the Progetto 65, but uh, rather I took clean shot, um, which means that the minimum potential damage and minimum potential penetration value of my shells increased by 10% for five seconds after my gun reloads. Um, so I think that this is uh, more useful for a sniper tank like the Leopard 1, uh, sorry, the Leopard PTA um, that does not have an autoloader gun. Yeah, so, uh, so far to the medium tanks and let's now talk about the heavy tanks. Now the first heavy tank I want to show you is the AMX M451, which is basically my favorite heavy tank and I think it's a classical brawling heavy tank. So let's take a look at the crew. The crew has a level of 44, so um, yeah, okay, but uh, not too good. Um, and here, as you can see, I concentrated on the gunnery training um, besides the tactical training. Um, why so? Well, because I want to increase um, the gun handling on the, of the tank. Obviously, on a heavy tank, concealment is uh, not important at all because the, con the concealment value is uh, bad anyways. Um, I rather take some points on eyes open because um, I'm not using coated optics on uh, such a tank uh, because I feel that the gun handling to increase the gun handling is more important than to increase the view range on the tank because um, you most likely drive towards the heavy flank and brawl with other heavy tanks so um, view range is not um, important in this kind of um, situation. Um, now uh, yeah, I used uh, fast aiming and a snapshot and in order to get the 30 points of uh, to unlock the talent, um, I once again used uh, Adrenaline Rush and I think this is um, basically even more helpful than on the medium tank um, because um, as I said if you are brawling with other heavy tanks you will lose um, hit points and uh, then this Adrenaline Rush uh, gives you an advantage. Um, I uh, even selected Coherence, uh, which is, as I said, the uh, Brothers in Arms skill, the previous Brothers in Arms skill, um, to level 10 because it um, increases the overall um, gun handling, oh sorry, vehicle handling, and then the rest of the points I selected eyes open. Now what I could also have done is um, select Repairs because I think Repairs on a heavy tank is super important. So this is um, basically the skill that I would, um, on my tank, um, select next. Um, if I had more um, skill points to train. All right, so um, this is the setup for um, this tank. Um, if you have a fully skilled uh, crew, you might want to think about the technical training to re uh, reduce um, the uh, repair time, as I said, and then maybe firefighting, maybe um, those kind of stuff, safety, safety measures, uh, but I think they are less important than the gun handling skills. And then you might also uh, uh, yeah, select smooth ride or off-road driving, uh, but I think they are definitely less important than the, uh, gun, the gun skills and then also the tactical training. The next tank we are taking a look at is the AMX 50B because it is a heavy tank, yes, but uh, quite in a different way than the previous one. So let's take a look at um, my crew. This crew only has a level of 30. Um, which makes it much harder to select um, the crew skills and um, it is an autoloader tank 
So um, there are basically two things you can um, consider. One is to increase the gunnery training to improve the gun handling of your vehicle. Um, the second interesting thing might be uh, to take a look at the driver's training. Why so? Well, because the gun has a good mobility um, being stock and um, it's always an interesting thing to um, increase the strength of your tank. Um, and on this tank, like the AMX 50B is a very mobile tank um, and especially with uh, your autoloader you want to um, move around on the battlefield and surprise your opponent so this is why I think that um, increasing the driver's training would make uh, sense in a way. Um, however, I selected the gunnery training because I want to increase the strength of this tank which is um, obviously it's a four shot autoloader gun. Um, and as my crew only has 30 points that I could um, select, I put every point into the gunnery training group. Um, fast aiming, which is super important um, because I think that um, due to the fact that the tank has um, is, is very lightly armored, um, I want to make sure that uh, especially my first shot and my second shot hits and so um, yeah, the aim time is uh, reduced once I am stationary. Um, I do think that um, snapshot is a good skill because uh, obviously if you have shot on an enemy he will start to move and so you will have to uh, rotate your turret at least um, in order to keep um, aiming at him and so I think that this is a very nice skill for this tank and then I completed it with uh, vulnerability training um, uh, because it's an autoloader and I think that vulnerability uh, expert is uh, very handy for an autoloader. Uh, why so? Well, because you are, you are shooting more than once most likely on your opponent and um, on every shot you increase the chance of damaging modules on the enemy tank. Um, and uh, just like on the Progetto 65, I chose uh, Rapid Fire as the talent uh, because this um, decreases the aim time and the dispersion uh, when I'm causing damage to my um, opponent and so I think that this is very very useful um, because it will improve the gun handling of my second shot once I hit my opponent with my first shot. Um, Obviously, um, the next skills I am thinking about is uh, definitely coherence, um, maybe eyes open, um, and then um, uh, obviously just because it's a heavy, uh, quick repairs. Quick repairs is not only useful on heavy tanks but also medium tanks and on even on light tanks. Um, and then I will maybe go down to the driver training, uh, pedal to the metal, smooth ride um, to increase the mobility of this tank even further. All right, that's the setup for this tank and now let's check out a super heavy tank um, because this then completes the, the heavy class in my opinion. As a super heavy tank I have the VK101P in my garage so let's take a look at uh, this crew. This crew only has uh, level 30 um, so not too many skill points I can um, use and as you can see um, on this tank I focused on technical training um, because I think that the, um, the talent nerves of steel might be super useful um, for a super heavy tank. It um, reduces the dispersion um, once you block incoming damage and um, this is basically what I am doing with this kind of tank. I am blocking damage. That's uh, my, my job on the battlefield um, in a close combat situation. Um, I put the points into safety measure measures which uh, increase the durability of my internal modules and then a pain threshold um, which reduces the chance of my crew being injured and then also quick repairs uh, which is super important on um, a super heavy tank um, as well as on a heavy tank and as well as on a heavy tank destroyer uh, with just like on every tank which uh, with which you uh, go to close combat um, the quick repair skill is um, super important and um, as I only have uh, 30 points, I concentrated on the technical training. Um, if I had more points, what else would I consider? I would consider obviously to use uh, coherence, which is uh, once again the Band of Brothers um, skill. And then I would uh, try to get the gunnery training um, 
uh, leveled up and then um, if you have more if you have like a super good crew uh, you could also think about going to the operational training um, because the group tactics might be um, useful here if at least one allied vehicle of the same type is located within 50 meters of you the level of vehicle handling is increased by x percent this is super um, helpful because I think that you will definitely meet some other heavy tank in the heavy tank lane um, if you brawl with your super heavy tank so um, I think like for a super heavy tank this makes sense because um, um, like 90% of the times you will fight in the heavy lane and have some uh, some heavy tanks uh, fighting with you you might also want to uh, take a look on uh, close combat because um, if at least one enemy vehicle is located within 50 meters of you the level of vehicle handling is increased and um, yeah um, close combat is the thing that you want to do with your um, super heavy tank now keep in mind that 50 meters is not very much so um, this skill will not be activated if um, you are fighting close combat but you are 100 meters away from your um, from your opponent so um, I would rather go with uh, group tactics um, instead of close combat but um, as I said those um, those uh, skills might be also very very useful for your super heavy tank all right so um, uh, to finish up let's now talk about some light tanks okay so the first light tank that we want to check out is the MX 13 105 and as you can see um, with my Chuck Norris uh, light tank I always uh, try to set up a mousetrap little joke here so let's uh, see how um, I selected the skills of the crew it's a 42 um, level crew so um, quite okay and um, on this tank on light tanks I do think that the most important things are eyes open um, which increases the view range of the vehicle and um, in combination the concealment skill which increases the concealment I think those two skills are the most important skills definitely for light tanks and I would even consider to um, level up those two skills and not get a talent um, rather than to concentrate on one group just to get a talent um, now um, as I I know that the, the AMX uh, 13105 has a three shot autoloader gun so you might want to think about uh, increasing the gun retraining just to make your shots and I think that in a way it makes sense on the AMX 13105 um, because it's really a light tank that um, or in which you um, in which making damage is um, a huge portion of your fight um, however, I want to concentrate on uh, the on leveling up the skills that make this tank to a light tank and so I chose um, coherence which um, increases the overall vehicle handling and then I also um, selected target tracking um, it means when you cause damage to a target within your view range the target remains spotted for an additional two seconds and I think that can be super super useful for a light tank and to get even more assistant damage um, yeah, uh, in your in your game, um, I used uh, team spirit. Team spirit means if the amount of damage caused with your assistance equals to or exceeds seventy five percent of your vehicle's durability, the level of vehicle handling is increased. So this basically increases further the um, my vehicle handling if I get assistance uh, from my team. Um, and the next thing I am currently leveling up is a pedal to the metal which increases the vehicle acceleration um, you might want to change that or use a different setup so here you could also go to for example smooth ride or off-road driving to keep your speed um, during all um, uh, terrain types uh, but you could also definitely go to the gun retraining and uh, for example get fast aiming um, as a perk or maybe vulnerability training which is uh, very useful on an autoloader um, but as I said this is my setup because I um, feel like increasing the um, um, the skills that make a light tank a better scout is generally a good idea next light tank we are taking a look at is the Lynx 6x6 and um, I chose this tank because I do not have the EBR90 or 105 um, in my garage um, however I think that the playstyle is very comparable and you will anyways use your crew 
um, for all those three tanks. Um, and if you're not, if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, is uh, then uh, check out my video that I made on. Uh, the new crew 2.0 system in which I explain all the new benefits that uh, Wargaming gives us with the new crew 2.0 system. All right, so let's take a look on the crew setup. I have a level 40 crew and um, as you can see, um, this is uh, one situation in which I shared all the skill points to different categories. Um, as for a light tank, I think that concealment is super, super important. I also think that eyes open is super important because um, the view range of the light wheeled vehicles is uh, super bad and so you really do need to work on your um, on your view range. Um, view range is super important and as you are a scout, even even so you are an active scout, not a passive scout, but even, even uh, then your view range is super important. Um, the next um, skills I leveled up were um, smooth ride and need for speed. Smooth ride uh, decreases my gun dispersion um, during the movement and guess what? With my wheeled light tank I am constantly moving around so this is super useful. And then need for speed which uh, also increases the, or basically decreases, uh, decreases the, sorry, decreases, here you go, decreases the dispersion um, during movement. Um, and high traverse, and um, so I definitely um, want to use this. Now, keep in mind that uh, with this skill, you have to be at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. But I think that with um, if you're using a light wheeled vehicle, then you will most likely, most of the time, be driving around um, at or above 40 kilometers per hour top speed. So I think this is this combination is super super useful for your uh, light wheeled vehicles. Um, now, if I had more skill points, what would I do? I would maybe um, consider to uh, getting to level thirty and then to um, uh, either use the active uh, recon um, talent, um, which decreases your reload speed and increases your. Uh, Oh, sorry, it increases your reload speed and increases your view range um, every time after you start moving around, which can be super useful. Or maybe the quick start um, talent, which uh, increases the acceleration and the traverse speed um, of your vehicle. Um, of course, uh, coherence might also be very nice for your tank. Um, and then you could most likely go to the gunnery training and increase the um, um, the gun skills, uh, for example, fast aiming, but maybe even a uh, snapshot um, because um, this would also reduce um, the dispersion on your turret and on your gun um, traverse. So I think this is the um, a good setup for um, light wheeled vehicles. And let's, let's now take a look at uh, a classic light tank. Last tank we want to take a look at is the German tier 9 light tank, the Ru 251. And as you can see on the equipment, I really want to use this tank purely as a spotter. So let's take a look at the crew. It's uh, once again only a level 30 crew, so I only have uh, 30 points to share. And um, once again, um, I chose eyes open and concealment because I really want to use this as a pure spotter, um, but as I said, I definitely on a light tank, I recommend to use uh, to to level those two skills first. And then the next thing I leveled up is uh, coherence um, to increase the overall vehicle handling. And um, yeah, I think this is the those uh, skills are basically the most important ones for your light tanks. And um, what would I do next? Well, um, here there are, there are several possibilities. Um, maybe go to the driver's training category to increase increase the um, the movement capability of your tank. Maybe go to the gunnery training to increase the uh, the gunnery uh, the gun handling. Um, or maybe go to I don't know uh, go to some niche, go to uh, some operational training, for example I don't know intuition, whatever. Um, I think here you can be very, very flexible. Most important is that you um, level the most important things first, and that is definitely eyes open and definitely concealment. 
Alright guys, that was it with my advice of setting up crews for different tank classes within the new Crew 2.0 system. Now, do you agree or do you use completely different setups? I'm definitely interested, so please let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Consider subscribing to my channel and I see you next time in another World of Tanks video.